my filter from the sun and safety on the gun, the water on the fire. Mercedes is millennials built on the new MFA2 platform and the first of which we are now seeing in India, the A-Class. Limousine. The A-Class limousine. That's the beauty of it. Sedan. That's the reality of it. A limousine is not about its size, you know. It's about the experience. Listen, uh, uncle, nobody's going to buy an A-Class sedan to be chauffeured around in one. You haven't been even inside the car. How do you know? This just might make sense. Uh, you take care of those bits. I'll take care of the other, more important stuff. The youngest members of your family will want to know a lot about the youngest member of Mercedes's family. Let's talk about important things like the way it looks. Now, I'm not saying that I'm sold on this design. It's still growing on me, this new Mercedes look. But the upside is that this A-Class isn't shouting for attention like, you know, the other one did. And this look for me would have been a little bit better if this air dam was detailed in a more stylish, more sporty manner maybe. But overall, this is an eye-catching design and it holds the record right now for being the slipperiest production car in the world. And that's because of really cool details like, you know, the bead between the headlamp and the bumper being done just right. Then there are these 17-inch aero wheels, which have a lot of these black portions here, which basically keep the air flowing smoothly around the car to help with its slipperiness. And the slipperiness quotient is all the more impressive because when you look at it down the side, you'll notice there's no cry for attention here in terms of the roof line. It's more traditional, more, you know, sedan or limousine-ish in that sense. It's the window line, also the glass area you'll find is more upright here, which is... And if you notice, the roof line isn't too sporty, which means it's going to have good amount of headroom inside. Also, the length and the wheelbase is more not only than the CLA, but also the BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe. Impressive. Carry on. Though, I do wish that the A-Class had more youthful colour options on offer. Anyway. And the good news continues at the back here as well because this is a more clean, more graceful looking design. And then we come to the boot space, which for this petrol variant is 405 litres. Good, big and practical. And the space saver that you see here is going to be tucked underneath the boot floor in the production car. So a nice, clean and flat boot. There are larger boots, but more luggage means more people that comes along with the luggage. And I don't want to load my A down with all of that. If I had to load my A with anything, it would be with the carbon package that Mercedes is offering, which would, well, make it more sporty to look at. What I want to look at though is, haha, look at the amount of knee room on offer and also headroom, enough for even six footers. A couple of hours here, one or two, is easily doable. Whoa, whoa, seriously? Yes. Look, Mercedes has been pretty clever to put that seat down low, which is why six footers get headroom, which is great, but under thigh support is a bit lacking and footroom under the front seat is tight. Yeah, but you know, I can work around it. Sure, you can also work around the fact that there are no sun blinds for the rear windows and you have no infotainment controls here either, limo. But I can use the voice assistant from here. Sure, but this is the limo experience we're talking about. Please look at the door pads. Don't you think they could have done with a little bit more designing, a bit blander and... and surely a very nice and large sunroof, but are you getting the panoramic experience back there? Not, not the panoramic experience. However, though, these door pads, look at how beautifully this door handle is designed. And everything you touch is quite premium. Plus, look at the features on offer. There are two AC vents, two Type-C chargers, and I have an armrest with flip-out cup holders. Also, 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 there is an urban package on offer, which adds coat hangers here, along with fold-out tables. Do you have any adjustments for your seats? Uh, actually, no. And you know what, I also feel that Mercedes should have included like a boss mode lever on this passenger seat so that can be pushed forward to leverage more of the legroom. Hmm. So basically, sedan, not limo. Clearly, the place to be in this limo is... The A-Class is offering that proper Mercedes... 
experience up front. I mean, just look around in the cabin. This feels properly premium. If you look at that wood used on the dashboard, you think that's a plank that's been picked up from a sunken ship, weathered and filled with character. And aside from that, it's that beautiful mix of classic and modern because you've got that 64 color ambient lighting, you've got these beautiful 10.25 inch screens on the dash, which kind of make it very minimalistic, make it very clean and at the same time opens up the sense of space on the inside. All the materials used feel so premium, like these aircon vents, so beautifully damped and well, it actually feels nice and metallic and cool to the touch. So it's got that wow experience happening on the front. And if you're talking about pampering, everything that I'm going to talk about right now is standard on the A-Class limo, like these front seats, which are powered and have memory function for both the front seats. You have lumbar adjustment, you have a manual adjuster for under thigh support. Aside from that, you have two zone climate control, you have a wireless charger, and of course, those 10.25 inch screens, the center one for the infotainment is of course touch enabled, and you get Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and uh, five USB ports, three of which are up front here. USB-C, might I add. And if you want to control the infotainment system, you've got these clever little touch controls up here on the steering wheel. The left one controls the infotainment and the right one for the driver's display, which is actually also really feature-packed and really customizable. And there are more clever ways to control the infotainment system. One, of course, being that, and the other one are voice commands. Also, this gets connected car technology. So folks at home can track this car through Alexa or even Google Home devices. Perfect, just what we need. More people hopping on for the ride who aren't really wanted, like backseat uncle. Let's get rid of it. Let's go. He is not worrying me. The car's got ESP, pre-safe and camera-based emergency braking. Also, it gets seven airbags, including one for the knee, where he thinks from, he let him have his fun. Gee, thanks, man. But talking about fun, this A-Class, under the hood, isn't packing exactly, you know, fire-breathing stuff. There's a 2-litre diesel that makes 150 horsepower, comes combined with an 8-speed automatic gearbox. There's the petrol that we're driving right now, which has all of 1.3 litres of displacement, but it makes 163 PS of power, 250 Newton meters. All the performance is sent to the front wheels, which takes the A-Class from 0 to 100 in a claimed 8.1 seconds. The gearbox is snappy too. But what makes the A-Class really enjoyable for the driver is the chassis, which lets you carry speed with confidence. You can feel the grip from the tires and the steering is precise too. And well, the performance isn't exactly sizzling, but it is entertaining. What even I can say from this rear seat is that this limo sits quite flat even through this high-speed hustling. Yeah, the 205 section tires don't look all that sporty, but they do let you hold a line nice and tight. And if you overdo things, the way the ESP cuts in is nice and smooth, so it feels tidy. So if you're on a winding road, this will feel communicative thanks to that steering and overall something that feels fun. And on the practical note, this gets 127 millimeters of ground clearance, which is more than the CLF. This is because Mercedes is offering the A-Class with the Pro package, which is better suited for rough roads. However, the suspension is not adjustable. And 17-inch rims means a higher wall thickness. That means the chances of damaging your rim are less. However, going over potholes, you do feel kind of a thunk, especially if you are driving fast. It could have been a bit more limo there. But I have to say, at low speeds in the city, the ride feels comfy. Overall, the A-Class feels relaxed and enjoyable. Set the drive mode to comfort and the engine is smooth, responsive, so it travels calmly and confidently. And this also gets auto engine start stop and brake energy recuperation, so it gives you a better efficiency. The ARI rated figure is 17.5 km per litre. Dude, nobody buys a Mercedes for fuel efficiency, okay? Have you even seen the latest fuel prices? Tcha! Loose change! 
So in the way it drives, the A-Class has youthful enthusiasm which might not pierce hearts but it will spread cheer. And it does this while carrying a level head which makes it enjoyable to be driven around in two. So who do you think should buy the A-Class? Well, considering that this is the most affordable Mercedes, the baby of the family, and yet it isn't cutting any corners and giving you that proper Mercedes experience, I think anybody who's looking for that could. It's a tidy little package, city friendly, so it's practical but fun still. And also beautifully equipped. Yes, I agree that the underside support on the rear seats and the right quality should have been better but it's comfortable enough even for the rear passengers to be grateful at the end of the journey. Overall, definitely impressive package. And at an estimated 40-42 lakh rupee price tag, I'm really tempted to, I mean I would be if I were buying one, to go for the A35 AMG because that's expected to be launched at about 60 lakhs because it's being assembled here in India, sizzling performance AMG, that would be more fun for sure, right? I mean. Maybe for you, but for most people who are entering the Mercedes family, this is still going to be the sensible choice to go for. More so because this is going to be offered with an 8-year warranty on the powertrain as standard. Are you serious? Yes. 8 years? Yes. Not stretching the truth there, one bit. Man, that is a limo level promise, man. It is indeed. Dude, but don't my formers next time. Nobody was formers in a Mercedes. Anymore. Uh. Ah, fine. Seriously, I mean, it's this is this is still normal. look good. No, these are my interview clothes. Interview clothes. Nobody in a Mercedes is going for it. They're taking interviews. Yeah, fair enough. Hmm.